What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're actually switching out the jump seat and the F-150 to this nice center console that I picked up. I ended up picking up this center console uh, from an LKQ, like the online LKQ, not like the pick and pull place. Um, ended up getting a really good deal on the console uh, for 240 bucks. Um, I ordered pretty much everything else I need. I am waiting on, I believe one of the AC uh, ducting still but uh, this video will be just how to put in the the console um, we'll probably have another video on how to make everything in the console work so um, just a little overview of what you kind of need you need obviously the console um, these trim pieces actually come off so um, some people will get them some people won't mine obviously came with them just kind of look around mine came with the column shifter which I'll eventually be replacing that. Uh, for now, it's just going to stay in the truck. Um, of course, what they do is they just cut the, the cable. Um, this is part of the ducting for the rear AC. Um, this actually goes to your sink, apparently. I had to ask people online what that was. Um, same thing, this is a USB. Um, but the other panel over here, this is your main connection. Um, it actually connects under the passenger seat. All of the trucks have this, I believe, including the XL trucks. Um, so they just cut the wire, so we need to pull that plug out. I already have this plug in my truck. There's bolts there. There's four bolts in total. Um, I will go over that when we get going. I do not have the 110 uh, in my truck, so that won't work. I might switch it and gut it out and put another... Uh, 12 volt plug or something it does have one 12 volt plug it's got the back ac vents the cup holders it does have all of the uh, pieces in here apparently we can switch this out with the one that's in the factory um, my factory truck um, so these this panel just pops out i've already tried uh, another outlet here um, this is where, where you can reprogram your keys. I don't know if that'll actually work or not, but I hopefully don't ever have to use that. I'll pop this open. So, obviously, got the lid there. Uh, inside, this, this thing is absolutely freaking huge. Oh, I didn't even realize there's a light here, too. I don't know if that light will work, but we'll see. Um, this did come with all of the trim pieces that I need. Um, all of the like the little rubber that goes up here and uh, whatnot as well as the little bottom things for all the cup holder stuff um, the only damage that I did see in this is this little uh, thing right here which eventually I'll probably pop the heat gun in here push it back I eventually probably want to put a they make it like a little safe thing that goes in and takes up the driver side of the console so I'll probably end up doing that at some point I guess we'll kind of go over what all the other parts are. So, this, I'll show you guys part number, is the panel that goes um, to the bottom here. So that goes there, and then, actually, this actually might even be the wrong one. We'll see. It kind of looks like the one that I have. Um, we'll have to look at that. Um, we actually might have to swap that out. Um, this is part of the ducting system that that'll go up into the truck. So here's the part number for that. I got the M6 by 25 one inch bolts. Um, these will hold, will go into these, come on focus, these little holes here. I got washers for those as well. Um, these are important that everybody forgets about. Mine actually came with them, but they're the little cup things that go in here. I grabbed the wrong side, but, um, you know, those go, those go like, uh, I don't know, that. They pop into there. Um, mine actually came with them. Uh, mine, thankfully, they threw them in with everything else. Um, the other major thing is... These side bezels for the radio, which these obviously clip in like that. Um, that's where those these tabs go. Um, I wonder if these have the part numbers in the back. Yep, there's the part number. 
This is now granted this is for my truck only. Um, you might have the different color. Um, that is the passenger side. This is the driver's side, which has the AC vent. The I believe that's the backup trailer assist. Or no, this is four by four, that's backup trailer assist. And then that's the whole for your brake controller. It's part number for that. And that's it for that. So I guess we will go ahead and get started. Let me show you guys what we're working with. So this is a 2016 XLT that has the front jump seat. So this is coming out, that's coming out. The seat actually folds up like that. But the one thing that I hate about this is this storage space. This is pretty pathetic. Like, it's, it's not deep at all. Granted, there is storage space all the way down below here. But you have to pull the seat up every time you get to it. Um, which sucks because when you're driving and you need something, and I like having this down, then uh, I can't do this one-handed, then you can't access all of the rest of your stuff. So apparently this cup holder thing uh, pops off as well. I guess you just kind of pull it out. So there's that. Um, and then I guess we'll go ahead and start removing the floor mats, and we have to take both seats out. All right, so got the floor mats out. Um, what we have to do now, I believe, is pop these guys up, and then there's bolts below that, as well as a connection right here, um, and then a connection on the back over there, and then that's the connection I was talking about that we also need to take off. So we will get started on that. All right, so 13 millimeter socket. Let's see if I can break them free with this little tiny, there we go. Oh, those burgers are on there good. All right, so Next thing we got to do is remove this plug here. Oh, there we go. And then this has got a little button, which I don't know if I don't know if you guys can see or not. But press this button down here, and then this folds forward. Uh, which I don't know if I can do. There we go. All right, so buttons down. Push this forward, that pops out. So this seat is free, and we will bring it out the back. All right, so now is the perfect time to vacuum underneath your seats, because um, my truck is pretty dang clean, and there's still stuff underneath here. So I guess we will get started on the other side. Also, my dad's helping um, until Anthony gets here, so he's, he's made two appearances, I think for something like that with the Cuba and then rescuing Anthony's car. Yeah. So that's my Hollywood career. Yeah. So that's what that looks like. Uh, we'll take out the driver's seat and then we're going to start taking out all these little bolts that are over here. So we'll get started with that. <laughs> shark in the water. I don't like my shark. <laughs> well, let it do. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, seat goes backwards again. Got it. So, that's out. Um, next thing we gotta do, there's three bolts. Ooh, looks like a little soda spillage or something there. Um, there's three bolts on that side that we have to take out, two on this side. Um, these two are right here. Um, let's see what size they are. Hand me that 13. They actually might be a, they're probably a 12 or something. They are a 13. Awesome. This is going to be a really long video of Anthony having to edit stuff. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this plug off real quick. Uh, this is the plug that I was telling you guys about, which... Mine has a whole lot less wires in it than the other one, but there's only two coming out, which go to the power outlet in the back. 
So there's a little tabby thing right here. Push this in, pops out. Easy peasy. We're gonna start taking this apart. So what we need to do, uh, this pops up. There are actually screws back here that you can take this whole thing off, but all we're gonna do is pop it up, um, which exposes two screws right here, which I think they're eights. Um, we'll see in a second that we can take this whole front um, radio face off. And then we have to take um, this thing off too. Be careful with this, this is actually kind of fragile. Um, so we'll just pop that up and then uh, get a reposition. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I just pop this one back down. Awesome. Okay, so that's up. Um, then we have these screws right here, which I don't know if you guys can see or not. Yeah, these are sevens. So take this guy out. What I usually do, don't pull up really hard, but I just do enough. I can fit this in there. Take this off. All right, so now we got these two screws off. We can just grab here and pull slightly there we go and this whole thing comes off um, probably what we'll end up doing just for ease of use is take these plugs out there's two plugs up here and then two plugs in the back we can pop off Maybe. All right, so there's our radio and our AC controls. We'll set those to the side. Um, and then this, which exposes these guys right here. Um, these actually just pull off, um, but what we'll probably do is we'll probably take these off. I believe there's, if I remember correctly, there's eight millimeter on each, on each side. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take off these. These are actually sevens as well. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pull these off. Um, I believe all you have to do is that. Comes off, pull out your cigarette lighter and your dummy plug for your 12 volt system or your uh, 120 volt system or 115 or whatever it is. Um, and then this one, hold on, they're really good. So, take off this plug, that plug, which look identical. So the purple wire, um, the one with all the purple wires is the top one. And then the one that's wrapped in the green is your backup assist. Yeah, two tens on each side. All right. We can unplug your cigarette lighter. Pull those two tabs like open and then it pops out because there's little hooks there. So, all right, that's actually a heavy piece for what it is. What we need to do is we need to swap out the USB. Uh, thing So I just unplugged these wires. This is for the ambient lighting, which we might end up wiring in some way at some other time But for now, we're not gonna worry about it um, So I need to pop this guy out She comes out like that and the other one needs to go in is that right side up? I think so. Okay. Yeah. That goes up. This piece can come out. Because we can't use that. I guess what we can do is we can probably plug this in real quick and see if it works. I mean, 
see what works and what doesn't, right? You can try. All right, that's plugged in. We've actually found out that all of the cigarette lighters work with just a plug over here. Um, the, the cigarette lighter plug from that was before, which is right here, doesn't need to be plugged in. So, um, what we got going on, that works. That one works. Oops. And that one works. Obviously this isn't going to work because we don't have the power inverter. The power inverters actually go right here. But I don't, I don't think I'll ever add that. Um, so that's actually more than I thought that was going to work. Um, what we ended up doing, we swapped our the stock USB thing here. Because um, that'll obviously work. We'll just have to scoot it up forward and plug it in. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> this is working out better than I thought it was going to. Um, so I guess what we'll do now is um, scoot this up, plug this in, um, and then we can start bolting this actually in. So what we're going to end up doing, I'm going to leave this here for now, um, just as because obviously I want to keep the column, um, just for now, and then um, I'll probably order either the piece that replaces this, because this whole thing lifts up without having to take the console off. Um, or um, I'll replace it with the F-250 one that has the sliding cup holders. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but this is actually working out better than I thought it was going to. Um, obviously the ambient lights, there's little lights in here, and then there's a little light up here. Those don't work. If we want to get crazy, all we got to do is um, figure out which pin they are, and then we can add maybe a... Uh, I was thinking they'll probably stay on constantly with key on power. So maybe we can splice into that 12 volt outlet and then um, splice or um, pin the uh, pin here. And then we actually might be able to get those to work too. So it's actually pretty, there's almost everything works, which is awesome. Um, the AC, so we've decided for now just to leave the floor AC the way it is and not try and pipe the other one in because I was missing the 90 degree bend like I mentioned earlier in the video. I don't know if I'm going to actually do that or not. Um, I mean, I might just have the AC vents just for looks because um, that's a lot of work and we have to pull a carpet up and all that crap just for the AC to blow out here rather than like right there. So, um, yeah. Um, what we have to do, these side pieces actually go in first. Um, because this little tab right here goes into that little piece right there. So we'll go ahead and put these side pieces on real quick. Don't let me forget to hook the USB up. That's going to be a royal pain in the ass, but the thing has to be scooted forward um, to do. So let's This guy in, this guy goes in, like that, uh, and this hole. Awesome. Jesus, that hurt. There we go. You got it. All right, so that's in. Those are plugged in. This one's gonna be the fun one. This one's got all types of crap. Um, so I said the green one's the bottom one, right? Um, the one with all the purple wires is the top one. It's in there. Make sure you guys look for the, the bottom clip down here because that won't always line up when you're trying to put it in. All right, that guy's in. This guy up out of the way. Um, 
need to do try and plug this in. All right, that's in. Close this guy up. Slide this forward. Like I said, those little these little fangs go in there. So push this guy forward. And that's locked into there. Okay, so you have to get replacement um, bolts and washers. Um, they're M6 uh, by 25, one inch long. Um, and then I just grabbed some washers and then we bolt them in pretty much the same kind of ish place where the other ones came out, but there are different holes. All right, and then we do the same thing on the other side. So make sure you don't forget the 10 millimeters on the other side that were behind these trim pieces when we took them off the first time. Um, and then that's where actually those little plugs that I was talking about earlier go to. So tighten this guy up. And we'll do the other side. All right, so those were the, that's where those plugs go. Um, this plug right here, there's actually a little thing um, that it slides onto and snaps on. What I didn't realize is that this actually has the cutout for the heaters, uh, the, the, the vents below. So I didn't think it did, so I thought we were gonna have to take it off. Apparently you don't. So what we ended up kind of deciding for right now is just leave everything hooked up how it is the AC vents in the back won't work. Um, and then we'll probably try and figure out a way to make everything else in the console work, but all the cigarette lighters work. So uh, that's kind of where we're at and we're kind of buttoning up things. We're gonna clean this off a little bit real quick and then we'll start putting the, the radio back together. All right, so the last piece of the actual swap that we need to do is this um, trim piece. Um, I went ahead and um, showed you guys part numbers in the start of the video. This is a crack piece. For some reason, when I started, I didn't think it was, um, but it is. Um, I'll link the part numbers down below as well, just to help you guys out. Granted, it's probably not the same as your truck, but if you have all the same controls and the same color, then it is. Um, so these reuse the same um, bolts that held the front piece in. Um, so we'll tighten these guys down. Got that in there. This slides up like that. And then you just press it, comes back. Um, and then we'll start putting the radio on, pretty much just the opposite the way we did. All right guys, so uh, as you can see, I actually removed the shifter from the console. Um, actually, I got the paper in here. So, move that out. Um, all you have to do to remove that is go over the process I'm about ready to say, but there's four bolts. You can see there, one, two, three, four. Um, and then there's the two plugs that are right there. So what we are going to do right now is Put in the cup holders uh, So the first thing we need to do with that is Pop this open and then you can see um, These are actually separate pieces. So we need to pop this up with One of these plastic trim removal tools I don't know if I can do this and hold the camera at the same time, but we will try. So, go ahead and pop that up like that. And this one. Oops. Let's see if we can work this over, maybe. There we go. Pop that up like this. So there's a push pin there, push pin there. And we lift up. And then we're gonna pull back. Just like that. And then this lifts off like that. <clears throat> Set that off to the side. Um, this pops down in here. And as you can see, it's got all the little tabs. Goes in there. So, pop that guy down in there. 
Um, same screws that you had before, they're right there. So, put this guy in there. This is a T15 Torx, by the way. So you have to take those two out when you're removing the old, or the, um, if you have the center console style shifter. All right, so that's in there solid. Um, and then we can put back on this piece. So, these have little uh, pieces that slide in on either side. Uh, so it goes forward into a track, pops in like that. This one, same deal. Alright, so got both of those in. This just pop down. And then you should be good to go. That is what the final product look like looks like. Um, the new one has a little storage cubby down here. I still gotta pick up there's like a little rubber piece that goes here, but it's not too big of a deal. And your same uh, little rubber bottom pieces from the old style or not the old style the the column shifter style uh wow the center console style shifter good lord it's early in the morning um the same plastic pieces fit in there so you can pop those in and then you're all set and that's the final product all right guys so that wraps it up um hopefully this video helped you guys out because I found when I was doing research on how to do this, there was bits and pieces of information for all the other videos, but nobody had like a complete step-by-step -step how to video. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Um, I'm gonna link all of the part numbers that I used in my build for this. Um, keep in mind, everybody has a little bit different um, trim levels, different colors, things like that. So, all right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.